Today we are trying checkers. Now I did a short on checkers a while back, but I only got the fries and an order of wings. I didn't get a lot of food because it was just a short. A lot of people in that comment section were saying, why didn't you get all the other items? You're 100% right. So we're doing a full checkers video. I spent $46 on this bag of food and we got a lot of stuff to go through. Let me bag this up nice. I ain't even checked this yet. So drop a thumbs up, man. You guys already know the vibe. If you live in certain parts of the country, your checkers which we call here, maybe known as rallies. It's the same exact restaurant. They have the same exact menu. There's no difference between the two. A lot of people were clamoring about the stuff because I said I didn't like some of their burgers, but we did get a burger to try this time. And he gave me a nice amount of sauce too. I like that. Of course I had to get the fries and we got a different kind of fries because a lot of people, again, I listen to the comments and I try to read and say what people may or may not think is good because I've been eating checkers for a very long time. But it's been a while since I've actually had it. I've only had it once or twice on the channel, so I, I don't really have an extensive one. The checkers that I went to this time is different. The first one was at Linden, New Jersey. This one is in Patterson, New Jersey. So, um, yeah, if you want to go to checkers in Patterson, don't say I didn't say nothing. All right, anyway, let's get into this video. <laughs> Start off with the thing that a lot of people were commenting I should have gotten and I didn't get. I've never tried these before, but these are their ultimate loaded fries fully loaded fries i should say and they come with bacon ranch and a lot of cheese now checkers fries i don't think need anything on them if you ask me because I, I think that checkers have some of the best fries in fast food but this is why we do these videos because you never know so there is a ton an absolute ton of cheese bacon and ranch on this wow there's a lot i know i'll be showing the food all the time but just look at the amount it's like swimming in ranch and cheese but let's give this one a try I still don't think you need all this stuff on these fries. Again, with the ranch and the bacon and the cheese, it's very, very salty. And I would rather get like the honey mustard or something on the side and just dip the fries. There's a lot of bacon on these. Holy hell. They said fully loaded. They are fully loaded. I don't dislike these, as you can see, because I'm eating them. But I still would rather just pick the normal fries. If I wanted ranch and cheese and stuff, I would just get it on the side and dip it in, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Their fries for me are some of the best in fast food, which I give in the high nines, like a nine, seven out of 10 on a fast food scale. These I would take off. I just think it's taking away from the, I keep trying to get a fry without the stuff on it. I'm glad I got a fry box too, but they're still good. I give these an eight out of 10. I'm going to tell you this though. There should be a sodium warning on this because even for fast food, which is salty anyway, these are really really salty i don't dislike them y'all can have these yourselves i'm just gonna stick to the regular fries other thing that people were asking for a lot were their fry season tenders last time i got their fry season mutsy sticks and people said the tenders were better i do see their fry seasoning which is very famous and they're well known for but we'll see if these are any better than the mutsy sticks which i think are pretty damn good you get a little bit of that fry seasoning but I'll be honest with you, the tenders are average. Let's get some dip Ooh, let's get some dipping sauce. Let's try this ranch, and we got the honey mustard as well, so we'll try that. But don't spill ranch on your black tea. I always spill stuff on me, bro. I know. I be so eager to eat sometimes, man. Their ranch is okay. Pretty average fast food ranch. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> let's try the honey mustard. I'm going to tell you what, I didn't drive very far away from the checkers to eat this. As soon as I open these, it like explodes. We got the honey mustard as well. That's not a very good honey mustard. There's a lot better fast food. No, that's a very good honey mustard, by the way. KFC. Didn't know that till I tried it in one of my videos. I think it was a quesadilla one. These are good. I just, they're pretty average for a tender. There's not enough fry seasoning that I feel like I'm eating their fry seasoning, if that makes sense. It's very, very mild, and it's overpowered by just the breading from the chicken. The fries are better, but these are decent. I'll give them a six and a half out of ten. I'm going to pivot and get the burger out because everybody, when I said that I wasn't a big fan of Checkers Burgers, said you have to get the Big Buford. I think that I always stuck to the spicy chicken sandwich. And I don't remember this 
precisely, but I had the Baconzilla the other time, which I didn't think was very good. So we'll try this Big Buford. I got it without lettuce, but it has onions on it, ketchup, mayo, mustard, a double patty, cheese. I think that's it. Oh, I didn't get pickles. I didn't think I had to say that, but I'm not a big fan of pickles. Let's try the Big Buford. This is definitely better. I got food all over my face, man. Every time I leave stuff on my face, people like, he didn't notice it. A lot of times I don't. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'll be doing the videos and I just don't see it. And I do the whole video with cheese all over my damn face. <laughs> Y'all be laughing at me in the comments and I'm like, what happened? But true story, I know I'm yapping, but I gotta tell y'all this. I'm taking one of these tomatoes off for too many. A lot of times, I don't notice it until posts. Like, when I'm editing, and I'm like, oh, man, they finna get me for this one. <laughs> so don't think I don't notice it. Like, I don't want I'm eating. Unless it's, like, egregious like that. Like, I felt that one. But just give me one more bite of this. It's a pretty good fast food burger. Like, the meat is salty. So I don't know if they salt their beef, but there's definitely something on there. There's so much mayo and ketchup on this that I'm just getting overpoweringly mayo. I'm not mad at that. I'm not. I like mayo on a burger. And it's cheesy. And the bun is soft. So it's pretty good. This burger's like $8, which... In this day and age, it's pretty normal, but it is a double patty, which is more, so I'm not really mad at the price either. I like this. Would I get this again? Yes. So I got the wrong burger last time. Y'all were right. It's not the best fast food burger I've ever had, but it definitely doesn't suck. I didn't like the Baconzilla. I do like this. On a fast food scale, I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. I used to really love their spicy chicken sandwiches, and I did get one, so I want to see if maybe that's why, but we'll see if I prefer that to this. Now, I got their fish sandwich with cheese. And I took the lettuce off because we don't like lettuce. Tartar sauce, I took off as well. I just wanted to see how the patty was. Now, this thing, just looking at it, like, you can see how that's not going to be good. That's not going <laughs> to... We'll try it, though. That's not... that. Just the, the fish patty itself doesn't... Total user issue. This is a location-based thing, but they fried this to hell. As you can see, when I bit it, I had to actually clamp down to chew that. Now, I can't be the judge of their tartar sauce, but I can be the judge of their fish patty. It's your average frozen fish patty that you would get from the supermarket section if you fried it to hell. And since they fried this to hell, I don't want it. They got a sesame seed bun, which is pretty good. I don't mind that at all. But, again, I'll give you one more look on the inside. The interior shot is egregious. It's egregious. It's definitely a user issue. I would not eat this again. That's a one biter and done for me. That gets a one out of ten. You may like it better if they don't fry it to hell, but I cannot bring myself to take another bite of that. I'm sorry. This bad boy right here, I used to go to checkers with my friends back in high school. The old man talking. That's so all I got was their fries and this thing right here. This is their spicy chicken sandwich. I don't know if it's good like it used to be, but it used to be a heavy hitter. I got the mayo. We took the lettuce off, so it has their seasoning on there. It's like this little spicy kind of... These used to cost like a dollar. I think it's like three and change now, but I know. Inflation, all that good stuff. It is bigger than a McChicken sandwich ever so slightly, and it does have a seeded, sesame seeded bun, as opposed to McDonald's with the shiny bun. I still like it. I still like... This is... Yeah. Again, this might be me being a nostalgia merchant, but man, I got a fry box here. So I'm just going to do what I used to do. I'm going to put the fry right in there. I used to be in a parking lot at like two o'clock in the morning, bro, with two spicy chickens, a large fry and a Coca-Cola. I used to drink regular Coke. I was bigger back then. This thing still hits, bro. It's a little expensive from what it used to be, but this is better. <laughs> Y'all gonna get mad. Oh, why they gonna, they gonna get mad? They gonna get mad at this one. Flavor-wise, this is better than a McChicken sandwich for me. This, you see how smart this is bringing me back, bro. I feel like I'm supposed to be getting in trouble. Mm. 
spice level, not high, but just a little kick. Maybe even less spicy than a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, but if they make these like a dollar, two dollars again, I'm gonna be a checkers aholic. I love that damn sandwich. Is it like Popeye's chicken sandwich? You know, no, because it's like a patty that's fried. That's like not a premium white meat patty. It's more of like a chicken patty, but it's got just not a run of spice with that onion with the fries on there. This thing hits, bro. I'm being nostalgia merchant on this, but I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. Give me about two of these. I used to be in the parking lot wilding, bro. <laughs> I'm older now, but it still tastes good. Now, I placed my order on the app and picked it up, so I forgot to get a drink. So, we got drinks at the crib. I brought one, realized it before I went. Ah, Coke Zero. It's just better out the can anyway. You gotta have the right place to do the right Coke Zero. But, we also got this chicken box with the fries this is five dollars from them and it comes with these little chicken bites and fries it's a nice deal for what they get again this used to be cheaper but i understand inflation happens let me try the first one you can see the seasoning on there i wish these had the spicy like the spicy chicken oh those are rubbery oh lord oh mm -mm. are they all like that do you like yeah hold on Rubbery as hell. The flavor is there. These have more seasoning than the fry seasoned tenders, which is crazy. The texture is off. So they could just take that batter, which is probably the same batter, which inexplicably doesn't taste the same because it has more seasoning. And it'd be really good. But these are the goats. Okay. Fast food fries. I love these. They're seasoned. You can get them in a frozen food section if you're not near a checkers or a rallies. But I love these damn fries. I don't need no ketchup. I don't need no nothing. And these little crispy boys right here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I don't even care if the bites suck because the fries is hitting. Crispy, seasoned, battered, on point. The bites get a 4 out of 10 because they're rubbery, but they are seasoned pretty good, but they're not really edible. But these fries, boy, I'm even trying this honey mustard again. Boy, hold on. Let me get up in here. There's just not many fries in fast food that are on this level. I've said this before, but I'm getting my fries. For me, fast food means that you have a drive through so I count places like Five Guys and Wingstop as fast casual. Fast food, drive through meals. You have Checkers, you have Arby's, and you have Popeyes. I know people love McDonald's. I like McDonald's a lot, but the shelf life on McDonald's is three seconds. Three seconds. They're just normal salted fries, and I do like them. They used to be better in the 90s and beef tallow, but those are my top three now. The honorable mention to McDonald's, though, I know, I know. But they don't. Man, you can eat these fries like 10 days old. Frozen, not fried, it don't matter. They hit. 9.7, I already said. They are delicious. These bites need some work, though. Now, we got to order their wings. I did get their wings last time, but I got their mild buffalo. I said I wanted the spice turned up, so I turned it up a little bit. This fell into the box. No, that's just, it's true this. I said I wanted these turned up, so we turned them up, and we got the angry buffalo this time let's grab ourselves a drum everybody in new jersey uses the same wing supplier every wing looks the same in this area bro you get them from restaurant depot i believe these are 9.99 for five it's kind of pricey but for a fast food wing not many places are doing like bone-in wings in fast food and they do and i think they're good the angry buffalo it's just buffalo to me. It's turned up to the point that it's an actual buffalo wing. And it has good flavor. They're not overly salty. Remember, when I, um, some of y'all might not have seen this video. I went to Charlie's Chief Steaks and I had their buffalo wings and they were god awful. These are better. Charlie's were six for $7.99. No. And that's not fast food. But I like these. They're just a little pricey. I do think they're good. Would I get these again? If I got a little extra money. <laughs> if I got a little extra money. You know what I might? I should have got these, man. I messed up. I should have messed up. I'm going to try this one more bite with the ranch, though. And then I'll tell you after I get this bite. Let's try the ranch again. A little dunk. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a big believer, me personally. I don't really eat my wings with a lot of ranch unless it's Wingstop. So I don't really care for it. 
I know people from Buffalo prefer blue cheese. Good blue cheese on wings, for buffalo wings specifically, are good. But I really like these. I used to get these when I had a little extra money, and I still think they are good. Are they worth the price? Not really. It's fast food, you know, and $10 for like five wings is probably not going to be someone's first thing at fast food. If you want wings, you'll go somewhere else. But judging these off of just being a fast food wing, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. Slightly overpriced, I 100% agree, but I do like them, especially the Angry Buffalo, which has way more spice than the mild. Finally, got a glizzy. Checkers glizzy. Doesn't really come in anything. It comes stocked. That's how it comes. Just ketchup and mustard. You can get a chili cheese. Ooh, that's pale, bro. Ooh, Lord. Again, this is fast food. I know. It's about $2.99 for this. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. It's not a good hot dog, just the hot dog in general. And the bun is a bag of cheeks. I'm add some french fries to it, see if we can save this by just doing something special. I just keep thinking how much better it would be with just eating the fries. It's a very average hot dog. It's one of those things I guess you might wanna throw in your meal, but I don't see anybody going out of their way to get this. The best fast food, borderline fast casual hot dog that I've gotten was at Freddy's. The only thing comparable to this is Sonic, and Sonic's is slightly better. I would give this a four out of 10. So let's talk about Checkers. For one thing, at least where I live, I don't know about where Rallies is, but Checkers, where I live, similar to Little Caesars, they only put them in a the hood. They're only in places that are like highly urban for whatever reason, I am not sure why, but that's where you gotta go. To me, Again, I used to eat there a lot as a teenager. I think it is a pretty good fast food chain with some stuff that is actually elite. If you know what to get from Checkers, it's pretty good. Problem now again is the prices have gone up to the point that they rival everything else. And at that point, you're punching against the big dogs. And with that in mind, it's not the best fast food chain. But I will say this again, I've gone out of their way just to get their fries. Their fries are elite as well as that little spicy chicken sandwich. Checkers just doesn't have the punching power of those other places. I believe it's called Checkers and Rallies because there were two different places that merged, similar to Hardee's and Carl's Jr. So that's a little bit of the reasoning why. They don't have the amount of locations that a place like Burger King has, but similar to Burger King, some stuff on the menu is weird, some stuff on the menu is not good, but they have other stuff in the menu that is elite. If you can get near a Checkers and get their fries, get their spicy chicken, get their wings, or even the Big Buford, which is a pretty good fast food burger, I think Checkers is good just not enough of them. Let me know if you've had it before. I don't know what people think about it, but I do know in that video that I had that people were saying more or less that I got the wrong stuff. So I tried to give like the correct order uh, this time in a long form video. But again, I just dropped a chicken bite onto my lap. Nobody wants to eat chicken bite in somebody's lap. These fries are so good. And the problem is I can get them from the frozen food section of any store. So. Also, location matters. The one in Linden that I went to was better than the one here as far as the fries. Because this one, I don't think they changed the grease, but they're still good. Let's be real. The one in Linden had fresh grease. I got lucky that day. But checkers, I would put in that mid-tier. I would say it's on par with even like a Burger King, which I think people think is underrated. I think checkers isn't underrated only because there's just not a lot of them so not many people have had it compared to like a burger king but i put it on par with it for real so that's gonna be the end of the video man i appreciate y'all i love y'all i wanted to get to this as quick as possible because people were asking about it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this we had a nice little review and we will be back tomorrow more content man the hand signs they made it to youtube